today we continue our journey with projective geometry. We'll talk about something called Desergas theorem. Let's draw a picture first. Suppose we have a point O and three lines coming out of the point O and a triangle whose vertices are on the three lines. Then we draw another triangle whose vertices are also on the three lines. Okay. So the points A1, A2 and the points B1, B2 and the points C1, C2 they are all on the same straight line as you can see in the picture. Then we have a very beautiful situation which is sometimes known as a projective situation. These two triangles, the one in the blue and the one in the pink, they are known as perspective triangles. And the point O, where the, all the three lines start, is known as the center of perspectivity. So let's do one thing. Let's join B1, A1 and B2, A2 and B1, C1 and B2, C2 and finally C1, A1 and C2, A2. So we have three points P1, P2, P3 which are the intersection points and there you go. You have the line of perspectivity. These three points P1, P2 and P3 they actually lie on the same straight line. This is called the perspective axis or the line of perspectivity and it doesn't matter where you put the points A1, B1, C1, where you put the points A2, B2, C2. If the vertices are collinear like A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2 are collinear, then the edges, intersection points of the edges when extended, they would also become collinear. So this is this is a very powerful theorem in projective geometry. Of course, I have not talked about how to prove this result. But this theorem is known as Desargas theorem. In fact, when we are talking about projective geometry, for me, I would first want you to appreciate the beauty of it. Again, why this is called a projective theorem? Because it does not depend on the sides, side lengths, the angles or anything. It just depends on the collinearity of the points A1, A2 with O, B1, B2 with O, C1, C2 with O. That is the center of perspectivity, right? So we have two perspective triangles and their extended sides intersect at collinear points. That is the meat of the theorem. Can you prove this theorem with a comment in the description? Can you tell me how can you show that this is true using elementary tools from geometry? I hope you like this little animation on projective geometry. We have some more animations. Check the link in the description and check the playlist at the end of this video. I think you will love them. Once you start appreciating projective geometry, you can start proving theorems in it and using them to solve Olympiad grade problems. Thank you for watching the video. I will see you in the next one.